Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Lilac and Gray. I was tagged by Karima from Shameless Fripperies to do the Lip Product Addict tag, which is quite difficult to enunciate actually. Now most of you all have probably seen videos like this before. I believe Este and Amelia from Amelia Liana started this tag mm, maybe a month or two ago. It's a lot of fun so I thought I'd inaugurate my YouTube channel with a little bit of lip products. So the first question is, what is your favorite balm or treatment? For me, this is pretty easy. It's a discovery that I made thanks to the internet, and I found it at the City Pharma on the Rue du Four in Paris. It's the Nux Rêve de Miel Lip Balm. Um, you've probably seen this or heard about it. It's a nice, thick balm that tastes like honey and lemon. Yeah, that's a really nice scent. Uh, but I usually put this on my lips at night, and when I wake up the next morning, I still have some of it on my lips. It's really, really good. It's a lot more expensive over here in the States than it is back in France, unfortunately. 15 grams lasts me about three and a half months, so I think that's a decent deal. Particularly because my lips don't really play well with Vaseline anymore. Oh. Favorite eye-catching red is the next question, and for me, this has to be the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. We describe it as a siren red, but it's just a great bright blue-based red. You can see that. I know this is not the best lighting, but I adore this. It just makes me feel really glamorous whenever I put it on, and the formula is really nice and long-lasting, but it's not drying, so I really appreciate that. Next up is favorite luxury and drugstore lip products. Now, I don't have a lot of luxury lipsticks, but I did get this one as a birthday present a while ago from one of my closest friends in the world. It's the YSL Rouge Volupté Shine number 19. Uh, Fuchsia in Rage is the name of the color. It's one of the lip products that Lisa Eldridge used in a spring makeup tutorial. You can see it's just a really nice color. It's really, really bright really pretty. It's a very comfortable formula. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but it doesn't last too long, so it's not that big of a deal. For a little bit of a less typical luxury brand, I really like White Beauty. Now, all their ingredients are food grade quality, which I think is a pretty unique selling point, but it's just got this great comfortable formula. Really just White Beauty in general, I think is a really good brand if you're willing to spend a little bit more money. They're not luxury in the sense that YSL and Guerlain are, but their formulas are so good and they are technically high-end, so that would be another one of my picks. One thing that I was sent in a makeup exchange on our makeup addicts on Reddit was this Bourgeois Rouge Edition lipstick in the color number 13 Rouge Jet Set. Oh my goodness, can you see that? It's just about the perfect 1940s red lip. I think it's so, so pretty. And it feels really nice on the lips too. So I'm really impressed with this. I wish that Bourgeois were more readily available in the United States. You can order some of the things on ASOS, but I mean, that's a bit of a pain. And it's nice to be able to actually swatch things and play with things in real life, but oh well. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my awesome exchange partner who sent me this. I love it. The next question is best MAC lipstick. I don't think that MAC is necessarily the be all end all of fantastic lipsticks. Their formulas are okay, but their color selection is really where they really shine. My favorite currently is Syrup, I would say, which is what I'm wearing on my lips today. But I also really, really like Plumful. And Syrup is not the most hydrating formula, but it's a great color. I'm not a big fan of the shimmer, but I can live with it. Other products that I just got in this week is from their Novel Romance collection. It's so pretty. It's called Yield to Love, and it's very much like Plumful, just in a cream sheen formula instead of a luster. So if you can see that right there. How pretty is that? I know, like I said, this lighting isn't the best, but you can at least get an idea for it. Most disappointing lip product, I don't have these anymore. Tanya Burr's lip glosses, I just can't deal with the formula. It doesn't feel good on my lips. Your mileage may vary, as with anything. I know lots of people really, really like them. I just don't. I love her, though. Really, really like her. Next question is lip liner, yes or no? For me, it's sort of an occasional thing. If I'm using more of a glossy red lipstick or something like that, then I will use 
another gift from my lovely exchange partner, the Australis Lip Pencil in Lady in Red. It's just a very, very nice, comfortable lip liner that works really well for me. And then I also have this Bite Beauty Line and Define Lip Primer. It's nothing life-changing or anything, but it's pretty decent. I'll have to play around with this a little bit more. Now, favorite gloss. I actually don't have it with me anymore, but I really like the Buxom Full On Lip Creams. I just think that they're a fantastic formula, not too sticky, and I like the minty tingly sensation that they give. And finally, something extra. I really like these Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvets. Again, they're really hard to find in the US. You can get them off ASOS again. I have the color From Bourgeoise, which is this lovely summery red, very strong pink undertones, which suit me really well. Again, it's a very comfortable matte formula. So, thank you for watching. If you are interested, please subscribe and check out my blog at lilacandgray.blogspot.com. Please feel free to do this tag, leave your responses below. I'd love to see some of your favorite lip products, and I'll see you soon. Bye!